In this second video, we will officially introduce another kanji and review two other characters that you will see this unit. Today, we are officially introducing little or small. This is a simple character. It's only three strokes. Just think of the katakana ho without the horizontal stroke. This is going to be easy. Stroke one starts in the middle, goes down, hooking to the left. Stroke two is a quick short stroke that slants to the left. And stroke three is a short quick stroke slanting to the right. The own reading, as we learned in unit three, is sho, as in shogako. In this unit, we'll focus on the kun reading of chi. However, when preceding other characters, it can also be ko, o, or sa. Another character we want to review today is tall. Again, it looks pretty complicated, but it's built from combinations we already know, going from top to bottom. Think of strokes one and two as forming the roof of a building. Strokes three through five form a small katakana ro. Strokes six and seven form a quick frame, as strokes eight through ten form another small ro. All together now. Strokes one and two form the roof. Strokes three and four and five form a story of the building. Strokes six and seven form yet another floor. And finally, strokes eight through ten form the ground floor. You should remember the own reading ko from ko ko in unit three. This unit will use the kun reading taka. It can also be read daka when following other characters. The final character we want to review is year. Remember, this is one of the characters where the final stroke is the one down the middle. The other strokes follow the top to bottom, left to right rule. Let's put this all together. Stroke one is the first stroke of the katakana e. Strokes two and three are the horizontal strokes starting at the top. Stroke four is the little tick mark. Stroke five finishes the horizontal stroke, and stroke six goes down through the center. The own reading is nen, and the kun reading is toshi. Let's review the kanji we know. We didn't make any changes to the number set. Time, school, and the others are also good. However, we added some characteristics. I guess they're becoming more and more descriptions than they are characteristics, aren't they? Notice that large and small are no longer optional, and we've added fat or plump. Here are the smaller lists of locations and actions. These lists haven't changed. However, we've added three characters to people, eyes, ears, and mouth. We now have 54 kanji that you need to read and write. With two others, you need to read when you see them. How are you keeping up? We'll see you in class.